Few people know that the upcoming movie Mrs. Chatterjee vs Norway has been inspired by a true event. The story is based on the struggles faced by an Indian mother named Sagrika Chatterjee who was living in Norway along with her family. Sagrika Chatterjee stood up to the Norwegian government to fight for the right to be reunited with her children after they had been taken away from her and in accordance with Norwegian law put in foster care until they became 18 years old. The portrayal of Rani Mukherjee in Mrs Chatterjee vs Norway is mainly based on the experiences suffered by Sagrika Chatterjee who had to go through the agony of losing her children to foster care. In 2007, Sagrika Chatterjee and her husband Anurag Bhattacharya who is a geophysicist went to Norway where Sagrika gave birth to her first child who was later diagnosed with autism. Sagrika quickly enrolled her son Abhigyan in a family kindergarten while giving birth to her second child Ashwarya in 2010 tragedy struck in 2011 when the Norwegian child welfare services known as the Barnevenet took both Ashwarya and Abhigyan away from their parents to be kept at a foster home till they turned 18 supposedly the couple had been under observation for months for what Barnevenet termed improper parenting allegations against the couple included sleeping on the same bed as their children hand feeding which was seen by Norwegian authorities as force feeding and also corporal punishment Sagarika had allegedly slapped the children once while these things might seem normal in the Indian context for the Norwegian authorities it was anything but that notably Norway does have extremely strict laws regarding children and their upbringing and these laws are universally implemented regardless of cultural differences what followed is an over year long tussle for custody of her children during which norwegian authorities claimed that she was mentally unfit to raise two children sagrika herself was in her late 20s at the time and was not known to be particularly organized or punctual something that authorities used against her what first was a family matter turned into a matter of the country as soon as this news came out to the public several people were critical of the norwegian child welfare services and in fact some even termed the organization's activities as state sponsored kidnapping Soon the case became highly publicized and the Indian government had to step in. Then external affairs minister Asim Krishna met his Norwegian counterpart in Oslo to seek a compromise on the matter and after lengthy negotiations it was decided that the children's custody will be awarded to a paternal uncle back in India the 27 year old dentist Arunabhas Bhattacharya. The Norwegian child welfare services handed the two children over to their uncle and grandfather in Kulti near Asansol West Bengal in April 2012 While this was a welcome development the battle for custody was not yet over The draining fight with Norwegian authorities had taken its toll on Sagrika and Anurag's marriage Sagrika now faced a fight for custody of the two children back in India She approached the Budwan Child Welfare Committee for custody of her children While this committee gave a verdict in Sagrika's favor the police did not enforce it leaving the children with their uncle and grandfather in december 2012 sagarika approached the calcutta high court in january 2013 justice deepankar datta ruled that sagarika should get custody of the two children while allowing their uncle and grandfather to have visitation privileges it should be painful for the uncle and grandfather but they should accept it for the larger interest they had taken care of the children according to requirement said datta In 2022, Sagarika Chakraborty's autobiography, The Journey of a Mother was published. The upcoming film is based on this book with Rani playing Sagarika's character. Berit Arsed from Human Rights Alert Norway, which has repeatedly spoken about the impunity with which Barnevenet acts, said this about the case. This is not the first time such a thing is happening in Norway. The legal system favors the child welfare services and they do what they want all the time. In almost every case they say one of the parents has a mental problem just to make their case strong.